Good evening. The last few weeks, as you know, I've been on a major Lego kick on this channel. And, well, I'm a variety show. And last time I did a Lego set on the channel, I promised I would play a few games, do a few game streams before I built any more Legos on the stream. So, for the game today, I chose, uh, it is Lego, it's a... Uh, one of the Lego games called Lego Worlds. While I have played several of the Lego games in years past, although not on stream, last time I played a Lego game was before I started the channel. But um, while, while I've played uh, several of the Lego games in years past, I have never played Lego Worlds. In fact, I don't know anything about the game other than I... Uh, I saw it mentioned in a YouTube video about other LEGO games that you could collect minifigures in this game. So that's all I know about it, so I'm pretty much going in blind. Let's go ahead and get started. And it looks like I forgot to start the game. Let's fix that. <coughs> Alright, we're loading. Alright, we're loading. And we have picture. Let's go ahead and start our game now. Well, it looks like it's still coming up, actually. It looks like I'm dropping a few frames here. In this, and I, I see the drop frames in the studio. Well, I'm dropping a lot of frames here. Hold on. Yeah, OBS doesn't report drop frames, but it's um, definitely lagging in my preview display. Hold on. Yeah, let's turn down some of the effects before we get started. We'll turn on subtitles for the scenes, I guess. Effects. Um, running a little, all right, that did things, but not good enough. Let's keep adjusting these effects real quick. Let's turn everything off and see what happens. I'm going to try uh, closing and restarting the game and see if that fit see if that fixes the issue now that I've turned all the settings off I've turned everything to low All right, restarting the game I did notice some improvement even before restarting the game. I did notice a, a little bit of improvement in the studio.
Now, my game window itself runs smoothly. It's just the OBS preview that it was giving me issues. It's still a little choppy. And no. Well, my game window is smooth, and it's a little smoother in the studio than it was. Let's see what happens when we get try getting into the game itself. Let's see if that fixes things a little bit. So let's start a new game. All right, adventure, sandbox, galaxy map, online, settings, add-on content. Okay, I don't know what we're doing yet here. We'll figure it out. How do I get rid of this overlay? Click to return to the game. I I did when I, I when I added this to my Steam library, I did get the four DLC packs, so they should be in the game. All right, there's adventure, there's sandbox. Looks like I need bricks to go here. All right. I don't know how to get bricks yet. Uh, all right, let's do it. Let's try adventure before we do sandbox. That'll teach us how to play. Okay, I can see the cutscene is still choppy in the studio, but it's not horrible. I've seen worse. Hopefully it's just a problem with the cutscenes and not with the game itself. Random chicken out of nowhere. Hold tab. Customizer. So I can be an intergalactic girl or an astronaut with a beard. Interesting. caveman hair. So we don't have a lot of choices here. You could be pink astronaut girl or the spirited astronaut man for right now. You do have access to a Santa hat and a cowboy hat though, as well as a pilot cap. We have cavemen and standard blonde long hair. We have arms in a couple different colors. Hands in two colors. Okay. So we, we do have choices. We do have choices, but we don't have a lot of choices yet.
Pirate Playground. Pirate Playground. Your first Lego world. So much to discover, but your rocket took a beating. A few gold bricks should fix it right up. Let's go for the duck. Look, a meteorite. All right, little astronaut guy going for a swim. And look, there's different set pieces going on here. Here's looks looks like a model of a treasure chest. You really should take a closer look at that crash site. Yeah, well, right now I'm collecting studs. So yeah, it's like the other Lego games, and that if you smash things, you collect studs, which I assume can be used as some kind of currency. But I... It's not letting me open the treasure, the treasure chest, however. I haven't unlocked that power, I guess. I also can't beat up a pirate girl. And my game just froze. Hold on. Why am I frozen? Control delete. Being unresponsive as well. Everything's frozen. All right. Um, let's see what happens if I kill and reopen the game. Everything locked up for a moment. Let's try that again. Well, at least we know how to walk around now. This may not be a game I can stream if it's going to lock up like that. But I'll keep my, I'll keep that. Uh. So let's try this again. We're gonna, it says continue, so maybe it saved the studs I collected from around that pirate treasure, hopefully. So yeah, we're supposed to go to the Meteor Crash site, I think. No, it didn't save me picking up those studs. Whatever. I guess we have to start over. We'll come back to the pirate first site. first Lego world. So much to discover. But your rocket took a beating. A few gold bricks should fix it right up. But hey, my studs are gone. But the brand, the trees and stuff that are around that disappear Look, too. A meteorite. Were they from the meteor?
Oh wait, that's gold bricks. So I don't see my stud count. All right, let's head for the crash site. Let's not do anything till we start seeing, trying to progress objectives. Okay, so we got studs and a tool. The discovery tool. Use the powerful discovery tool to scan and collect new models, vehicles, creatures, and more. Characters can be collected once you complete a quest, task, or challenge from them. Once they're in your collection, you can use the tool to summon things into your worlds. Place them precisely where you want them, or fire them into the sky with wild abandon. The discovery tool lets you create one, ten, or a hundred and more copies. Oh, and should you find you've summoned one too many weird-looking creature things? The discovery tool also has a handy delete function. Phew. Getting to grips with the discovery tool is the first step on your journey to becoming a master builder. Okay, maybe we can interact with that treasure chest now. Before I do anything else, though, I'm going to see if I can save. Pictures, skydiver stock. So I guess the fire is not a studs, but the throne is. I wonder, can we use discovery on the fire? New discovery type unlocked. Objects. Cool. And looks like breakables do respawn because the throne is back. All right, let's go look for that treasure chest now. Thank you. 
It's not letting me scan the pirate princess or the or the treasure chest. So let's put our little tool away and we'll come back to scanning in a minute. Let's try talking to her. All right, the pirate princess wants me to build a clock tower and says the plans are in this chest. Let's see if I it will let me discover it now. No, it's not letting me discover it. Can I smash it open? No, nope, I guess I guess there's a quest chain of some kind. All right. I'm going to try discovering everything. We got a leafy bush, we've got banana tree. Is that a sand castle? Sand castle with a red flag, okay. So Smashables are discoverable. We've learned that. Grass Clump, version 5. Ah, yellow and green versions of the sand castle, I would assume. All right. Well, let me scan the big scenic, scenic trees here. No, they're just scenery. That's grass clump version two. One. I already know that one. Version four. A bush. So I'm still missing the grass clump version three. A big flower. And there's the version three of the grass clump. Ah, here's a blue flag sand castle. Here, two different versions of boats we can scan. 
Oh, it's not letting us. Is that because we're swimming? Are we not allowed to scan if we're swimming? So we've discovered the pirate rowing boat. New discovery type unlocked. And the rowing vehicles. boat. So we've started to discover vehicles now. And it also gave us something called a camera car as well. Interesting. This is pretty cool. So yeah, we've just scanned a whole bunch of things. Let's keep going around the island and see what else we can discover. We already got our yellow and green sand castles. Oh. There was a little plant under the water. Can we scan that? We got small seaweed, small coral, I think I want to start focusing on this quest objective, though. We do have a tropical bush in our collection now. And a stupid ad notification pop-up, not from the game. One of my other apps decided to pop up a full screen ad. Let's grab ourselves this campfire. We already got it. Let's swim out to this little island and see what I can discover. Or not. Ah, there's a brick icon over there. Let's head for the brick icon. So it says I need three bricks to trigger whatever that is. Okay, there's a brick icon hovering above this little farm island thing here. Looks like there's a few things to discover in here. We got a trough, a farm gate, new discovery type unlocked creatures. Oh, that's cool. We can discover the creatures as well. We just discovered pigs and chickens.
that scenery. It's not letting me do anything with it. We can ride the pig? That's cool. All right. All right. All right, how do I get off the pig, though? Because it's not letting me get to my discovery tool or do anything while on the pig. All right, seriously, how do I get off the pig? Give me a minute. I have to look this up. And it doesn't look like the animation's running too badly in game itself. I'm just trying to find out. How to, how to dismount here. All right, I think I've seen enough. Let's proceed. So, to recap, I can click on it to get on it, and then I can Q to dismount. All right. It's telling me it wants discovery tool. So I pulled out the discovery tool. But seriously, some pigs and chickens is what I need. I seem to have lost a bunch of studs somewhere along the way. So I need five pigs and three chickens. and three pigs. golden step on the road to becoming a master builder. But you'll need two more gold bricks to fix your rocket.
We have discovered new discovery type unlocked. We've disco you have discovered your first character. Characters can be unlocked when you've done a quest for them. Once unlocked and purchased, you can place them in the world. Okay, so let's add this pirate lady to our cast of characters. There's a lot of things in this game, it looks like. This is not going to be a one-day stream. That's for sure. Let's buy up a few of these things. These are cheap enough. And we'll save up for the vehicles. So we have completed an objective, so let's go ahead and save our game. And actually, now... So it randomizes based on the parts we've unlocked. That's pretty cool. So it looks like we actually have some outfit types. Yeah. So we also have generic construction worker as well. That's pulling from. So we have intergalactic girl, pirate lady, and astronaut. I'm going to stay with the astronaut, Tilly and Lot. Although, I'm going to swap out his helmet for a Santa hat because reasons. All right. But. The question is, though. Yeah, we got the pirate lady's head available in heads. So, yeah, everything is. So yeah, when you get a part, when you when you unlock a character, you unlock their parts. There's another gold brick over there on the pirate ship. Let's see if there's anything here to discover. We got a barrel stack. Something's flying around there. Box of cannonballs. We've discovered seagulls. The pirate captain wants something from me now. So let's go find out. Pirate throne. Okay, so we need to go back down to the beach and discover that we can discover that throne and bring it back to this pirate captain. That's cool progression, actually. All right, let's go get him that throne. And I'm running low on studs, so let's break a few things and pick up some studs. I 
I don't know if I discovered that. Yeah, that's a leafy bush. All right, we have unlocked the throne. And we I'm going to try and unlock everything as I get it as I get access to it. The exception is vehicles, which cost a little bit, so. There's my broken ship, it looks like. I am really liking this game. It's a fresh take on the concept of uh, collect studs and unlock things. Two out of three. There's one more, and you can lift up to another world. Alright, we have the pirate captain now. So, one last look at Santa Spaceman. One last look at Santa Spaceman. Now let's go see. Now let's go actually play around with the customizer a little bit. So let's see what I want to do here. So the hat. We're going to keep the pirate captain's hat. We're going to go back to my original face, though. For body, we have an explorer suit, too. We're going to keep the astronaut. For the arms, we're going to keep the pirate arms. Hands, we'll keep. We'll keep the pirate hooked hand, hook hand, but we'll give we'll go back to the astronaut suit. So we're gonna make an astronaut pirate. All right. So now we've customized a little bit. Let us return to the game. And I don't appear to be crashing. It must have been a one-time thing. But still, don't I don't want to get too overconfident on that regard. Let's see. Because I've decided to unlock everything as I get it, let's collect studs for a bit. And then we'll go for our last gold brick and at the Pirate Princess.
There's the red sand, sand castle. I already got that. So we can just smash that. Inventory unlocked. What just happened? So we have unlocked a banana. It looks like these are special tools that we have to get gold bricks for. All right, let's equip the banana and head back and see if that allows us to smash the treasure chest. Oh, this whole time, all I had to do was press an activate key to open it? Now I feel a little bit dumb. New discovery type unlocked. Brick builds. We got ourselves the pirate clock tower. Let us place it. Why are there two pirate princesses now? Let's see. Let's let's drop it over here in the sitting in the water. Three gold bricks. That's exactly what your rocket needs. Congratulations. Discoverer builder. All right. Cutscene. Um, but I still have to discover the pirate princess and add her to my collection. And let's get rid of the extra as well. We have unlocked the pirate princess. We have removed the clone. So now if I come up to the customizer and go back to full costumes, the pirate princess is in there as well. So there's two different lady pirates that you can choose from here now. We still have Space Girl with a with a with a pink suit with the classic space logo, or well, our little astronaut guy. We'll go back to classic astronaut because we are about to blast off from this island. I'm sure I haven't discovered everything, but. That's not for me, thankfully. So let's proceed. I want to make sure that I've bought everything I've unlocked before I continue. So let's smash a few more things before I go to fix the ship. So is there anything I have not yet bought? So I need 14,000. There are no more gold bricks on this world. Get back to the rocket when you're ready to explore the rest of the galaxy. All right, so I need 19,500 studs to unlock everything that I still haven't unlocked in my... I'd rather unlock it as I do it so that way 
I remember. But we have pretty much completed this island at this point. What I say, 19,500 is the goal that we need. Now that's a thing. All right, we've got enough coins to pick up everything that we that we've unlocked here. Just... There are no more gold bricks on this world. Get back to the rocket when you're ready to explore the rest of the galaxy. All right, we have unlocked everything now. Except what's the, oh that's another seagull. Let's head back to the rocket. Pugsy, interesting. So what's this mean? Saved world chunks 42. I have no idea what that means. So it looks like we're going here next. Prehistoric peril. This should be fun. Saved world chunks. What's that supposed to mean? All right, how do I actually go, though? Oh, I see how it is. I'm hitting the button that says, OK, you actually have to. All right, there we go. Hopefully it'll let us check out some of the DLC soon, but for now, let's go check out this prehistoric world. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a, a regular game on stream for a while, because I'm enjoying this. That's an interesting rocket design. 
Your rocket's thought bubble indicates how many gold bricks you need until you get to the next reward. But not all worlds have a lot of gold bricks on them. Once you think you've collected as many gold bricks as you can from a world, feel free to travel to another one to find more. Alright. So, the rocket says there's four... Ah, the sky's falling in! Oh, my mistake. It's one of those meteorites again. Ooh. So, looks like the rocket says there's four gold bricks to discover here. And let's be ready to go at all times. You should check out that meteorite crash site. There's bound to be something useful there. should check out that meteorite crash site. There's bound to be something useful there. So, we've discovered the bone. We have a goat skeleton. And a charred tree. A small skull. You should check out that meteorite crash site. There's bound to be something useful there. Red spider. Charred bush. You should check out that meteorite crash site. There's bound to be something useful. All right, there. looks like we've discovered everything here. So let's smash things and get some studs. I think it's important to unlock everything as I discover it so I don't forget about it later. You should check out that meteorite crash site. There's bound to be something useful there. Should check out that meteorite yeah. crash Look, site. I'm going there, There's okay? To be something useful there. should check out that meteorite crash site. There's bound to be something useful there. You should check out that meteorite crash site. There's bound to be something useful there. Let's find this crash site because he's not going to shut up about it. 
There's bound to be something useful there. We've got a landscaping tool. You've unearthed the landscape tool. Use it to reshape the world around you. Raise a mountain, create a canyon, or flatten an entire village to build another one. Interesting. So we got four gold bricks to discover here, it looks like. And now that I know how to actually play, we'll be able to actually do it. She's stuck, you rescue me, give this. Classic, stereotypical caveman speak. You can choose either to raise or lower terrain. Whichever you go for really depends on the situation. All right, what the heck? All right, I guess I gotta carve down this rock to let this cave lady down. Responsibly. So we've got basic caveman. So we've got four more gold bricks to discover up here.
not sure if that's a new skeleton type or not. Nope, we already got that one. Alright. Gold brick beacons. Do I see any? There's one over that way. When an area has been flattened, it's perfect for building on. Be careful though, because the landscape tool can flatten entire buildings if you're not careful. We have unlocked basic cave girl. Alright, so there should be two more gold bricks out here. There's one over there. Another cave person stuck. Cave people. They do tend to get themselves stuck. Now, if you had a tool that could remove terrain, you could help. Remove terrain now. Okay then. Remove terrain. shape will do. It's down to personal preference. Okay. Okay, for some reason this bit reminds me of Minecraft. Okay. Oh. Looks like we've already unlocked him. Looks like he's just another copy of that other guy. I'm guessing this last gold brick over here is another rescue. He's 
He's stuck. You rescue me. Give this. There must be a way to bridge this lava. You could use the landscape tool to place some bricks. These cave people sure are kind of stupid. stairway to the clouds. Your tools, your decision. That volcano looks dangerous. You might want to take this opportunity to get out of here. So this game is basically Lego Minecraft. Before we go, let's see if it'll let me discover the crow. No, it doesn't. All right. I think I've already unlocked everything there is to unlock here. Yeah. You found all of the gold bricks on this world. Well done. Time to move on to another world. Yeah, I'll leave if I want to leave, okay? Okay, where's my rocket? All the way over there. We just got the burning bush. All right, where we where to? Candy construction capers.
So I guess we're going to a candy world now. It is getting late, so as cute as this game is, I'm probably going to call stream soon. But we're definitely coming back to this game. I want to explore this island a little bit first before we go, though. Candy construction capers. What a delicious looking world. Ice creams, cakes, and gingerbread houses. Lovely. There's only three gold bricks here, but we'll see what we can do here. So I can't unlock them because I haven't gotten any quests from them, I guess. So it looks like we're going to have three construction people to unlock on this island. And there's a treasure chest. Perhaps I have to interact first. Flower! All right, let's go to the meteorite then. A copy tool? The copy tool. The copy tool makes it easy to take copies of things you find. You can also use it to duplicate your own creations. Why only have one castle, pirate ship, or um, that thingamajig? When you can have two, or three, or 176, my lucky number. Just place the box in the middle of what you'd like to copy, expand and adjust, then place the new copy anywhere you like. You can also save creations to the My Builds gallery, so you can take them to other worlds. So yeah. I think I'm going to call stream when we finish clearing this island. Because that, that'll be a good amount of progress for today, I think. We got ourselves a little cat for our collection now.
There should be one more. There was Sweet Tower 3 and Sweet Tower 1. So there should be one more of those Sweet Tower kind of things. Yeah, game's running fine. I don't know what that crash was before. Let's see if we can find this last kind of sweet tower. Somebody ate the wall. Can you build a new wall? This is the build tool, giving you ultimate control of the fundamental building blocks of the universe. You can increase your collection of bricks by capturing those pesky troublemakers. Oh, and if you want a house in a hurry, then use the planner tool. Simply select a starting point, then drag to create walls, and then finally a roof. Splendid! You'll have that castle built faster than you can say, wouldn't it be marvelous to build a castle really fast? Ah, building one brick at a time. The old-fashioned way. Now you can make exactly what you want to, in every detail. All right, so this game actually does involve some actual building. Unlike, you know, most Lego games. I built this wall in the wrong section.
All right, they said the wall's good enough, so there's still a big giant window there. Great! You'll collect more and more different kinds of bricks as you explore new Lego worlds. So we picked up one of the construction workers. I think we have two more construction workers to unlock here as well. So we have a nice collection of people for today. We have astronauts, pirates, uh, cave people, and now construction workers as well. That's a good nice rounded out crew for our first session. Alright, I lost sight of the gold brick indicator. There's a green star over there. Uh, that's just the meteorite. Ah, uh, no, the treasure chest. I still haven't figured out a way to open that. found the second kind of sweet tower, so I'm satisfied on that front. So there's the rocket. I seem to be having trouble tracking down the gold brick guys. Give me one moment here. I have to check something real quick. Not stream related, but kind of. This is my 183rd episode. So we just celebrated my stream anniversary last week. And in the next couple weeks, we'll also be celebrating my 200th episode. So I'll have another milestone special for that. Okay, where are the other two gold bricks? Interesting. All right, we found one of the gold bricks. Houses standing all alone are a sorry sight. There should be at least one more to keep it company.
Hmm. I guess I have to learn how to use the copy tool. But first, let's smash this little pillar over here because, hey, I'm distracted. Copy tool. You can adjust the finer details of your model here. Add bricks, remove bricks, or just leave it as it is, if you're happy with it. Name it, frame it, save it for later. We'll call it Gingerbread House. No need to get fancy with it right now. Now, don't forget, the discovery tool can place anything from your collection, including any models that you've saved. Well, that was fun copying that gingerbread house. Copying isn't cheating. It's just saving time. All right, where'd he go? I need to find him so that I can. Uh, add them to my collection. Unless that's another copy of the construction worker that I just helped. Okay, it's not letting me it's not letting me discover that construction worker. So that's the one it's that's the one I can discover is that guy. We have unlocked the construction worker. So there should be one more brick on this island. I can I can see the gold brick on the map so let's just head in that general direction there it is let's get this last gold brick this last worker oh that's the one I just helped isn't it so there's supposed to be one more on this island
don't know why it's not letting me open the treasure chest. But we still have to find one more gold brick on this island. All right, I see an indicator over there. So it says there's a gold brick here. All right, so there's the indicator, and the indicator disappears when I walk towards it. So, where's the gold brick then? Where's the worker with the gold brick? Unless that's bugged and we really want to be somewhere else. It's one of the blue construction guys that's going to have the last gold brick. I know that much because I've already bought the other two construction guys. Did I bring the house down on top of the guy who's supposed to give me the quest? Like, the gold brick icon was over here. Alright, let me look this up.
All right, let me look this up real quick. Okay, so it looks like I have to open the treasure chest to get the thing. Okay, so somehow we have to open that treasure chest. That's what this is telling me. Oh, we finally have the trigger button. I don't know why it wasn't appearing for me before. No need to be green with envy. You now have the paint tool to change the color of anything in the world. Just choose a color and slap it all over the place. Go crazy! Well, if you want to. Or just paint one brick at a time. Make your world a brighter place. And notice that changing a brick's color can sometimes change its characteristics. Paint it black. Paint it pink. Paint it lava. Ah, so basically Lego Minecraft. Okay. Now... The gold brick quest appears. It's a shame when something looks that plain. It really could do with a splash of color. So we got the last brick for this island. Another challenge overcome and a just reward. Explore builder. Ten gold bricks. This will power up the rocket and give it enough energy to reach an unlimited number of new worlds. Get back to the rocket if you're ready for adventure. So it's not letting me copy these other guys, it looks like. Okay. 
So it looks like we've got everybody we can get on this island. So we got two different construction worker variants. Your rocket can take you to new worlds. Head back there when you want to seek out adventure elsewhere. So we've got two construction workers, some pirates, a couple cave people, and some astronauts. Let's position ourselves in front of the rocket and save. We've unlocked free build. free build. Free build mode gives you access to all of the tools in one useful bar. Great for advanced players. You can switch between any tool without having to open the game wheel. Free build provides you with some additional options and can help with more accurate placement. Nice. That is, and seeing as we have a full character, we. Now we have now that we have a full character action wheel, I think that's a good place to stop for tonight. So save. And let's just see what happens when we go into the rocket. Lego classic space on the lock. Monsters unlocked. All right, so we've got some interesting places to go to when we, uh, so we finished the tutorial islands and now we have, I don't know what those guys are, but we have Winter Wonderland, Classic Space, and Monster Town to check out next time we play. So yeah, that's a good place to stop for tonight. Select the Find World button to discover new worlds in the galaxy. There is no limit to the number of unique worlds you can discover. Keep on clicking until you find one you like the look of. Interesting. So it looks like there's different places to go to. We will look at these uh, three worlds next time though. And I will let you enjoy Candyland while I figure out our exit raid. Who's online tonight? Uh, the Neo Kellums is actually online tonight. They haven't been online in a while. Let's see what let's see what they're up to. Ah, 
they're on sh they're on the stream starting soon window. All right, let's kill a few minutes playing with our look. So for our hat, we'll do a cowboy hat. Our head. I like this guy with the safety goggles. That's a lady construction worker. Interesting. Safety goggles it is. Interesting. So for the body, we'll do an explorer body. Yeah, we're going to do the explorer body for our next adventure. I like those arms. They go well with it. Standard hands. All right, they're online. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Legs will be Yeah, we'll go with those legs. We will turn off that. And there's my look for the next stream. Meanwhile, let's get into this raid. So we're going to raid the neo Kellelims tonight. They're a very friendly uh, elderly couple from Singapore who are uh, talented musicians. I think you'll enjoy their show. So have a good night, and I'll see you all soon. Good night. So have a good night, and I'll see you all soon. Uh, yeah, last so long never stream, forgot how to stream. <laughs> Uncle Evie raided it last. Hi, Uncle Evie. How's your stream? Welcome. Hi, hi, stream? Uti. Thank you for the resub and thank you so much for the. Uh, uh, please, off, off you go, Masamio. Thank you for being here this morning. Wonderful. <laughs>